Hello, everyone. What? What? What do we? Hello. What do we do hey here guys, again? What's up? I don't How's know what we do doing? with this. What do we do with this set? This is the Blind Wave Podcast. Oh, Eric, it's been a while. It has. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't. It when was the last while. time we had a podcast? A month? Shit. Uh, oh, a week? More than a week. Oh, damn. A year? <laughs> Less than a year. I'm sure someone in chat knows, but it's been a while. Uh, next week is also going to be the Badonka Gonk Podcast. We're going to be talking about the Ahsoka novel. Ahsoka. Which will be cool as well. Yep. You talk about something relevant. Relevant? Ah, ah, ah. It's a joke, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, yeah, it's been a while. We had a, we had a small vacation. Yeah. Um, we also went to Indie PopCon. Yep. So it was fun meeting people there. Um, if you're in chat. Hello again. Hello, everybody. Indeed. Um, if you didn't get to make it, hopefully we'll attend somewhere that is closer to you and we'll get to meet you at some point. Yeah. Would be cool. So, <sighs> how's everyone been? What's everyone been up to? How was everyone's <laughs> vacation? Did you guys do anything fun? Vacation was oh. fun. Didn't really do a whole lot. No? Okay. I had plans for a vacation uh, to go to Hawaii to see Jancy's family, uh, her parents, and then her parents. Unfortunately, right before we were going to go, got COVID for the first time. So we canceled those plans. And then, oh man, so much happened for my vacation. <laughs> uh, so we, we were going to do that. We didn't. And then um, we've been looking for uh, a new home recently just because uh, I've, I, th- I think it's been long enough. I've been in the current house I've, I have uh, since 2014. And it was a real small, affordable place then. And it's still a real small, affordable place now, but I think I've just gotten tired of it. So we were shopping around for a home, found one that we absolutely loved. Um, and then like the day we were thinking about putting an offer in, it got bought. So that okay. sucked. Damn. So then we started wow. looking for some more and we ended up finding one that we liked even more. Put an offer in well, and now we got to wait two months, but now finally I can like kind of rest easy. So I use that was what I use my vacation for. So you think you don't like the the water features of your current home? No, no, I do not. <laughs> Which it, it did have another small leak during my vacation. Right after that house was bought from under me, hmm. I was like, ah, no! And I just called my realtor, and I'm like, we're looking at like twelve places, so find something. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So anyway, it still has a, my old place still has a little bit of work that I need to do to it, and. Uh, it's also, like I said, it was very affordable, so it is kind of like the birthplace of Blind Wave. So I, I might sure. keep it, you know, for a bit. Maybe uh, turn it into a museum. Yeah, <laughs> turn it into a museum. <laughs> turn it into a little museum. <laughs> we can keep all the candy lands there. Yeah, we can keep all the extra storage. You can have like a like a one side of the room downstairs yeah. be like the the Blind Wave set, the yep. old Blind Wave set, and the other half of the room you can like bisect it and have it be like the yeah. flood. It's got to make it waterproof and everything and be there. <laughs> Here's where the great flood happened. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, I understand because, you know, when Mel and I bought our house that we have, mm-hmm. we had two kids. Yeah. And since then, we've had two more kids. So we've had talked at different times about, like, what we should do, yeah. if we should add on to our house to make sure everyone has enough room. Because right now, there's, like, two kids sharing a room and then another kid's like just in a loft that doesn't even have a door or anything. Sure. So it's like, maybe we should find a, a, another place. So we've been looking around too and yeah. nothing's really been like, this is the one. Well, there was one, but then Melanie's like, I don't think we can get that one. I'm like, all mm-hmm. right. And then someone bought it and like, then we haven't seen another one that we liked like that since. And yeah. then the market's gotten even worse. <laughs> like it's even more expensive now than it used to be. So yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do yet. <clears throat> yeah. It just, I think there was just so much stress and, and things not going our way that like it, it became like a thing where I'm like, I'm done waiting to be happy with my living situation. <laughs> so we did some work. Sure, <laughs> so yeah. vacation turned into not necessarily stress, but a, a lot of that type of thing going on. Okay. So the, uh, the things I did on vacation were a little more fun, I guess. Uh, one week, I don't remember what we did. I feel like we stayed at home and just kind of, it was just normal business. Yeah. I just, I, well, I came into work a few days of that, that week. Oh, yeah. I'd, so, I, I worked every day. I think I, was just off, I think I was off the next week. <laughs> yeah. Where, like, Melly and I went, we ended up going, it was last minute. We were trying to find a house to, like, like rent for the, the week or whatever kind of yeah. thing. 
like an Airbnb or it was a Verbo or whatever, like something like that. And we were looking mm-hmm. around different places and essentially we were just like, all right, this many bedrooms, uh, what do we want them to have? Like what has a, maybe something that has a pool, you know, like just looking for that kind of stuff. And we found one that was in Tennessee that was fairly affordable. And we're like, well, we'll check this one out. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully that'll work. What's around Tennessee? And I was like, well, it's close to Pigeon Forge and that kind of area and stuff. So we ended up going, going there. Kids thought the house was great. It had a pool. Sweet. And it had a hot tub. Yeah. And I was like, sweet. I always wanted a hot tub. The last vacation we had in Carolina, uh, was the one thing I was looking for was a hot tub. And we got there, there's just a piece of paper on it that said, out of order. I was like, no. <laughs> oh, no. So I was sad about that. But it also had like a uh, like a theater room built, cool. built from like the garage, yep. which is really cool. It had like enough for like 14 people to sit in. Nice. That's awesome. Like it was like bean bags and then like a couch and a love seat and then yeah. a couple like recliners. And I was like, this is pretty cool. So I we rem- watched. Uh, I remember my first theater room experience on vacation, like when we were renting a house. Uh, yeah. It was like an Emerald Isle or something. And it was when Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers had just hit DVD. <laughs> yeah. So we went and bought it and we played it in this theater room and we shook that place to its core. I never been in a place like that, so we turned the volume all the way up. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, that so really I will mean. always remember that vacation because of the theater room. That's cool. <laughs> well, one of my kids was I was like, "Do you guys like this house?" Like, "Yeah. If we don't do anything else, this is the best vacation." Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I'm glad you like the house and yeah. we watched Neat. like some Bad Batch. Um we watched uh what else did we watch? We watched um the Puss in Boots Wish movie. Mm-hmm. The we Last wa- Wish. The Last Wish, yeah. We right. watched that. Yeah. Cool. Um something else and then uh I was trying to think, like, what's a good movie that the kids haven't seen that I'm like, this would be fun in, like, a theater kind of setting? So we did Jurassic Park. Oh, man. They had never seen Jurassic Park. That's a good one. And, oh, my gosh, one of the best things that happened, like, Melanie had to get up in the middle of the movie, and she left. And there's, like, a door that shut to it. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of spoilers. If you've never seen Jurassic Park, go watch it, because it's great, and you should have seen it by now. Um, But we were at the part where they're around the kitchen, Right, and they're all that, and they're, they're the raptors yeah. are chasing the kids, and everything's going on, and they're trying to get out, and they finally get somewhere, they get into the place, and uh, they got to a part where Ellie's like, "Oh, you're okay." He's like, "Yeah, it's trapped there." Unless they learn to open doors, and Melanie at that moment came in, <laughs> <laughs> and it was right behind Leon's no! chair. And he's like, "Oh, God!" <laughs> <laughs> scared it so bad. It was she so left good. us. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. Amazing. I love that moment. So, I it, it was a she was like, "Man, I wonder what part they're at." <laughs> it was just perfect timing. That's cool. So did that. Um, then we did a few things in uh, like Gatlinburg, uh, Pigeon Forge area. Um, we went to the, there's like a sp- go-kart NASCAR speedway track thing mm-hmm. where they have several like uh, go-kart tracks and stuff there. I remember going to it when I was young. Yeah. Because we had uh, family reunions down there and stuff a lot. So we went to that one and spent like the day there and just raced around on go-karts. And have you ever fun. like asked the people that work there like which the fastest cart is? Because they, they generally know. No, they I can didn't. usually like if you go up to them, they'll generally be like, "Look, yeah, that one." Is Whichever one it wasn't apparently uh-huh. is what Melanie got all the time <laughs> because <laughs> Kayla and Kane and like since they were smaller, there was a few tracks that like we could, all could race on, but th- some of the other ones were like, "Well, here's two seaters, so you can take the smaller ones sure. with you." And then it's like a more advanced yeah. course, kind and of then thing. Coulson and Leon could still ride on their own, and they were arguing, be like, "I want to ride with Dad. He's always faster." <laughs> Melanie's always like, "I'm sorry." She's like, yeah. She's like, I don't know what's wrong. Yeah. It's always like the, the the slower car. At one point, we were driving, and she had said about like, man, I always get the slow car. So I was I was driving, and she was behind me. She was the one right behind me. And I, I'm taking corners and stuff, and she starts to pass me. And they're like, ha, 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 you're slow now. I was like, nah, uh I don't even do it about half pedal. So I just slammed all the rest of the gas and just shot forward. Like, Such a jerk. Uh, <laughs> Sandbag and soft pedaling that. Uh, oh, so, man, finally, yeah. it's going my way. So that was fun. Um, and then the last thing we did, too, was uh, uh, we had been wanting – the kids had talked about doing, like, an amusement park and that kind of stuff, too. Mm-hmm. One of the days we did, like uh, – an aquarium. It was like a Ripley's Believe It or Not. And we checked Sweet. out like a mirror maze and stuff. And the kids thought that was fun. And they had a mountain coaster where you just kind of sit in a seat. But you have like handles where you can slow down and speed up and control how fast oh, you go okay. down. And it just takes you up. You can do one or two people in a, in a seat. Yeah. It takes you up the mountain. You just go down like a bobsled or something, you know. But it's all on a coaster. And we did that. And that was really fun. Um, and Colson was afraid to do it but he finally like all right i'll try it and he rode with me and then he rode with leon yeah and he, they all enjoyed that so we ended up deciding to try dollywood because we were down there yeah he likes dolly 
Parton, and I was like, I, I like, love Dolly Parton. I like roller Everybody coasters. should like Dolly Parton. Everyone should love you, Dolly Parton. You, I think I showed you guys her newest song, right? Yeah, you did. Where she sings with, um, dang, what was it? It's the lead singer of like an, uh, like a 70s or 80s like band. Um, it's called Bygones is the name of the song, and I can't remember what the singer is for it. but <clears throat> um, uh, Rob Halford. Rob Halford. What, what band's he with? Do you remember? I'm looking it up. All right. But uh, Judas Priest. Judas Priest. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's what I was trying to think. It's like an older like band, you yeah. know. But um, but th- that song's pretty good too. But anyway, the uh, we went there. Uh, Colson rode like a roller coaster there, and then he was kind of good. But the rest of the kids rode like most of the roller coasters with me. Kanan was um, tall enough that the only ride in the whole park he couldn't ride was like the the drop zone. Do you yeah. ever do those kind of kind yeah. of ones? Mm-hmm. It just takes you straight up and just drops, drops you straight, you straight down. down. Gotcha. It's like a ring. So yeah. Kanan rode the biggest coaster they had there with me. I think it was called like the Wild Eagle, which is like a feet hanging one too. And he had a blast with that. Um, there was one called Tennessee Tornado that was one that one of the first ones we got on that had like a loop in it. And Ooh. Ayla started kind of crying and didn't want to ride it. And Leon was getting like, I don't know if I want to ride this either. I'm like, okay, well, when we get up there, you two can go through. Mom's on the other side. You can go to the exit. Find her. Kanan and I will ride this. And Kanan rode it with me. And then we got off. He's like, guys, you got to ride it. It's so much fun. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so that was fun. They enjoyed that. Um, I have to share the pictures sometimes because we got a few of the pictures from the roller coasters and stuff too. And some of them are great because like they either have a scared face or like just such a like <gasps> happy, <laughs> joyful. So that's cool. Those are really fun. <clears throat> now. I had heard you were going to a theme park, or you were trying to get to a theme park, and I purposely didn't ask you, because as soon as you said it, the first thing I thought of was like, man, are you going to be thinking about those poor people that were stuck on like upside down on a, on a loop-to-loop roller coaster for three hours? The, the kids, oh, my gosh. <laughs> the kids I was said, like, I'll talk to him about that when he comes back. The kids had asked me something like, Dad, what if it doesn't go all the way around? Like, do you get stuck up there? And I was like, not usually. Usually, yeah, you should yeah. say, yeah, Almost you want to say that never happens. Engaged, no, no. Right? But know. if they looked on there, they'd be like, oh, that happened in July. Yeah, I know that kind of stuff has <laughs> happened before, you know? Like, I remember the, uh, in Cedar Point, which is, you know, northern Ohio here, uh, they had a top throw dragster, mm-hmm. which the whole ride was just like, you shot off with, I think it was like a magnet, uh, uh, Magnetic propulsion. Yeah, propulsion. Yeah. Maglev and everything. Yeah. And it shot you off like 120 miles an hour or something ridiculous. And then you went like straight up and over this little hill and then straight back down. And like that was the ride. But sometimes they didn't quite get fast enough. And you would go back down because you wouldn't make it over the hill. <laughs> you go back down backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so they would shoot you again. Yeah. yeah. Harder. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Well, a few years ago, um, some piece of metal like flew off of that and injured somebody. So they shut down the ride. But here, I think next year, they're planning on releasing Top Throw Dragster 2, which part of the ride is that they shoot you forward, you don't make it, then you get flung backwards, and there's more ride back there, and you go up a hill there, straight up, and then back down to the, oh, to the initial one. So they're, so they're they, including their flub as like part of the ride yeah, now. Yeah, they, they added more to the ride and stuff, That's so that cool. sounds really neat too, but I don't know. When I was younger, I used to ride a ton of roller coasters and stuff. Kings Island, we went to Cedar Point, I'd gone to Six Flags. My favorite, one of my favorite ones was, I think, Batman or Superman at Six Flags, where you sat in a seat and it laid you backwards, oh. and then when you got to the top of the hill, it flipped over and you were facing the ground like you were flying. Oh, it was that's really so cool. neat. Yeah. The ones that <laughs> scare me the most is when they do like a real steep drop and all you have is a lap bar. Yeah. Those, I, I like the ones where they go over my shoulders because I feel more safe and secure. Yeah. That's why I like the ones where your feet hang. Mm-hmm. Those are always my favorite. But no, it was a good time. I think the kids enjoyed it. Maybe we'll go to, like, they kept saying, like, we should go to, like, Disney or Universal. I'm like, those are all, like, really far. And they're far. Yeah, they are really far. Yeah, and it's really pricey. And, and sometimes yeah. it could be great. You know, sometimes yeah. you got to go through Florida. Yeah, yep. and I hadn't wanted to go to Florida, <laughs> yeah. so we talked about California. <laughs> and I said, Disneyland no, was like, fun, too. It's said, much no, smaller. You know what? I'm glad we didn't go to California because that yeah. was the same time they had, like, that tropical storm hurricane hit. Yeah. And, and like, the I'm, earthquake. And the earthquake and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm kind of glad we didn't go to California I at can, the time. I felt so. the same way about Hawaii at a certain extent. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So many crazy weather events. Aaron likes that roller coasters, away. yet it's afraid of needles. I feel like those are different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But like yeah. what's weird is I'm afraid of like deep water, but <laughs> I drink it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
But yeah, I've never really been stuck on a roller coaster. The one I really remember was actually when we went to Universal. We got stuck on. We got something. stuck on the Transformer ride. Uh, yeah, that's that? right. We sat there for a long time. Yep. Then they came and got us off the ride and walked us through yeah. like the rest of it. They walked tiny, us like, over step the ladder. track. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. later on, we came back and I, at least I did. I don't know who else did, but we came back and rode it. Whoa! And Holy shit. Uh, hey, Gara, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, Gara. Thank Fifty you. subs, Gara. Thank you. Our and congrats time. everybody who got a sub. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. That's nuts. Thank you so much, Gara. That's Cara. extreme sub hype. The <laughs> sub hype is quite strong right now. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, uh, that was my vacation time. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you were telling us about Universal Studios. No, yeah. We coming were just, back. We did that. Luckily, we went back and we wrote it again. Mm. At least I did. I wrote it to actually get an experience of the whole ride yeah, and what I don't it was think like. I did. Yeah. No so, I didn't know if everyone else did or not. No. Um, most memorable thing about Universal Studios was. Colitis and Waterworld. Waterworld was remarkably fun, and I have no idea what the movie was. I've never seen the movie. We need to watch the uh, movie. I mean, I know the general premise, I guess. We need to watch the movie. We need to. But I've never seen that movie. I love that movie. You guys said it was a flub. Like, it doesn't, it's bad. It's Whoa, a flop, not a flub. That doesn't stop me from loving the movie. You watched the Mario movie, Aaron. Yeah. You love that movie. Yeah. yeah. That's true. I that, cherish that I cherish the days when I was a kid and could look at movies and not think about what other people thought of them. <laughs> <laughs> I could just form my own opinion. Sure, yeah. And no, Waterworld was one of those ones like, man, what a great idea. It's such an expensive <laughs> movie. Yeah. But it was so much fun. I, I wish I could go into every movie not knowing what people thought about them. But sometimes, sometimes it is fun to go into a movie knowing you're going to have a fun time hating it. <laughs> like Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, Dude. No, that yeah. hurt too much. Yeah. Speaking of, oh, one no. of my favorite things, what? we went to Indie PopCon, <laughs> right? Yeah. One of the the celebrity row yeah, people I there. Yeah, I saw it. I, was, I, 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 was, I walked by with Jancy. I'm like, someone's going to point this out and going to ruin my day. It was James Marsters was there, and all the celebrities had a banner. Yeah. And he had clearly, you know, surely he had Spike there, you know, like because he yeah. had Spike. But he also had Piccolo. No, yes. why did he have Piccolo? And I was like, yes. he was Brainiac on Smallville. I'm you like, know, man, put that uh, shit up there. Piccolo to Piccolo. Put up there. <laughs> It's nerd. Like that would act, like actively, I would have like I might have gone up, you know. But I saw that I'm like I ain't going up there, you <laughs> you're, know. You're what if he starts talking had about his face it? On it? Yeah. <laughs> man, I really. Oh got my man, group. but that was fun. <laughs> uh, but no, I had uh, I had fun at PopCon as well. Um, I had two fun stories from that. I suppose I could tell. Um, one of which was when we went to uh, a place called Way Ramen mm-hmm. after we got done with. PopCon for the day. Um, I don't know how Calvin's side of the story of that goes because he was there with me too. Um, actually, he was with me on both of these technically. Yeah. So, uh, but I'd gone up to talk because we went in this place and it was busy and there yeah. were people waiting. Mm-hmm. And I went up to the counter and there was a line there of some people trying to get their food and the waiters back and forth all over the place. And I ended up talking with this one one lady who was there who was very upset that this one table had they they'd been there for. I don't know, 30 minutes or longer. I don't know how long it was. And at this point, they had paid for their food that they ate. They had ordered takeout. They had paid for the takeout. And they were all just sitting there on their phones doing nothing. (laughs) And they're like, you could do this in the hotel. Like, go away. Let people eat. (laughs) And she was very upset because they had like, I think we had six or seven people. They had six or seven people. Yeah. Like, they were trying to get to their seats. And then some guy walked up and was like, hey, I have a reservation for seven people. And he looked vaguely familiar but I couldn't quite place who he was. And uh, it was funny because he talked to the guy. He's like, we had a res- reservation for seven. He's like, okay, um, we'll get you a table soon. He's like, well, we already set a reservation for seven. You don't you don't have a table for seven people? And he basically looked at the guy and was like, we busy. We busy. <laughs> we busy. That's basically what yeah. he said to him. And I was like, we yeah. ramen, we busy. I tried not to laugh, but I thought it was funny. Um, but then when I went back over to where like Calvin and them were over in the little waiting area and stuff, there was a guy who was sitting there and within their group of like six or seven people that they had as well, a third group. And uh, I was like, are you Sonny Straight? And this guy looked at me, he goes, no, I'm Chris Kaysen. And he pointed to another guy, like, that guy's Sonny Straight. He's like, you're confused. I directed uh, One Punch Man. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. And then he, <laughs> yeah, I just kind of looked around for a second and goes, no, I'm Sonny Straight. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, you know, just... We just finished Assassination Classroom, man. I thought you were great as Koro Sensei. It's so much fun. Uh, you know, me and my buddies love that. You know, you're also great as Krillin. He goes, well, thank you. Appreciate it. He's like, yeah. And then around that time, like, those people finally left. And f- however it happened, 
all three of our groups got sat at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Like all of everybody just went and got seats. And I was like, okay. So that was a fun little interaction. Calvin, I don't know if you guys talked to him at all, but you guys heard him say something, I thought. Oh, while you were like up there talking to the people, trying to figure out like how long to wait for a table, there was uh, like Dragon Ball something with Broly on it playing on a TV behind us. And when <laughs> Sonny Strait and his group walked in, they were like, oh, Dragon Ball. And there was a... Uh, Kamehameha or something? Well, it, it was a uh, Super Saiyan scream. Like, uh, they were powering up. Uh-huh. And he did a Super Saiyan scream in Krillin's voice, making fun uh, of it. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Never got that chance. So I missed all that part. Yeah. So but, I, when you walked back over, I wasn't, like, staring or anything like that. I was like, no, that's Sunny Straight. That's <laughs> that's Krillin. That's Koro Sensei. And he's messing with him. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I was watching behind when... When he said, no, I'm Chris Kaysen, that's Sunny Strait, I was like, because I, I was in on the joke, but I yeah. was letting you have that and interaction. I don't, know, I don't know if the rest of them were all voice actors. Like I said, the one guy who went up for the reservation looked familiar, but I couldn't yeah, he, place he him. Yeah, he was also a voice actor, yeah. and then the, the brunette. I can't remember I'm her just, name. I don't know voice actors' faces as well, unless I have looked them up on IMDb. Makes sense. And, and yeah. even then, it's just that picture. Yeah. Just that one yeah. picture. So yeah. like, We're not wearing a blue shirt. Yeah, it's like, well, where's your shirt you always wear? You know, Come luckily, on, Kevin. <laughs> Sonny Strait was wearing his like hat. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like, he always kind of has that, uh, what, what's the hat called? It's like a flat cap. It's like, yeah, what you always wear. Yeah. So it just kind of helped that a little bit. But then the, uh, the other night, we also went to Tappers, mm-hmm. which Tappers is fun. Tappers is a lot of fun. We went to that with the normies. We played some Killer Queen. Yeah, which is fun. We need to play Killer Queen more. We kicked the normies' ass uh, in Killer Queen. I wasn't a part of that one. I didn't get to play on that. But uh. then, like the normies, like some of them went off to get drinks. Some of them sat down to like talk and stuff like that. And then, uh, like oh. another group of people joined the other side, and we were like, "Okay, blind wave and normies versus these people. Let's crush them." <laughs> we got our asses kicked like eight uh, times in a row. Yeah, but then we won two in a row. We did oh, win yeah. two in a row. Yeah, and then they won one more, and then they and quit. then they quit, <laughs> <laughs> or we quit or whatever. Yeah. But that but was apparently my first time. Apparently, there's some kind of like league night there yeah. where they play Killer Queen. That was a lot, my first so. time ever playing that game, and that Me was too. a lot of fun. But it was like Calvin and I were like trying to learn on the fly real quick. Yeah, <laughs> and Chris was there. He's like, "Come on, guys, we need." Step it up. You guys over here <laughs> beating our butts and you guys can't win against these guys. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying, Chris. I don't know how to play this. So, But uh, we wrapped that up. Everyone eventually kind of started to head out and stuff like that too. And there was a group of us, I think me and Calvin, Melanie, Carmen, a couple others. Yeah. Um, we all went back to the hotel and I went into the hotel bar. And when I went up to where like they have a little drink section that you can usually always order drinks. They don't have seats there and stuff. Whenever I ordered my drink to the right of me, like at the very end of the bar, there was two people and they were taking a picture together. And then one of the guys left, and that person that stayed was Michael Rooker. Hey, man. And I was like, <laughs> hey, Michael, how's it going? <laughs> and he, he just kind of looked at me. How you knew my name, like, man? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, like, you know, Calvin and them kind of came over too a little bit. Cause I think they were behind me. I don't know how close they were originally. And then we stood and talked to Michael Rooker for like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, at like least. Until, yeah, we were there until, until the, the bar, bar closed. closed. Yeah. So uh, just talking about, he talked to me about uh, Brazilian rum at one point. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. he was like, what you drinking? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I always do I always do rum. It's usually my favorite drink. He's like, oh, man, Brazilian rum, best rum I ever had. He's like, <laughs> it was called, hey, and he started talking to the bartender. What was it? What's the rum? And he's trying to get a name for it and stuff. And I think eventually he got it, but yeah. I think it was called something with a C, I think, but yeah, we just talked for a while, and uh, he told me about movies and stuff. He talked about how his first horror movie he was in, his first movie was at a film festival, and he I would have uh, had a hard time not talking about Mallrats. Oh yeah, that was the first yeah. thing I ever seen him in. Yeah, no, I mean he's been in so many things. Yeah. I said yeah. when he said about horror movies, like, oh dude, I I remember you in Slither, yeah. you know, yeah, like, stuff he was like that. Great in Slither, but he said like half the people left at a certain point in his movie, like they just left. And they were like, that's there the worst was, thing. There was I can't one believe they're doing this. Particular. Hollywood, how's it come to this? And the other half loved what was going on. Really? And he said he was late getting there, and there was another lady who was late getting there to watch it. And she went in and watched like five minutes of it, and it was just it was too creeped out or whatever, and left. And when she left, she came, he, they were crossing paths in the hallway, and she saw him and screamed and ran the other way. <laughs> ran back in. <laughs> ran like, back into the theater. Oh, damn, that's so good. <laughs> that's funny. So, 
no, it was uh, it was it was pretty cool. We just chilled and talked for a while. Yeah, I don't know. We just kind of rotated around too, so mm-hmm. everyone kind of like some people got some pictures, some people talked to him a little bit, and he was he was just real chill. Yeah. yeah. Those are some of my highlights from the from PopCon, and we got to hang out with the normies. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty fun too. Oh yeah, I bothered them a lot. Mm-hmm. They were right on the other side of our booth. Yeah, right there was the like there was like curtains between us. Yep, and we could always just stick our head through and see what the normies were doing, or yep. stick a foam source kept, through kept, and kept messing with each other. Uh, I don't like to do pranks because I feel like that opens me up to more pranks. But some, you guys wrote me into some. You know, yeah. stressed out trying, like, how am I going to put the sticker on Spencer? <laughs> and it was like an hour later, he was playing Smash with Rick, because of course we had Smash at the booth. And then I was like, all right, this is perfect. I'm just going to wait until he does something good, and then clap him on the back. And that took a while. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh poor Spencer. Spencer. No, Spencer is the best of the normies yep. yeah, in terms of the of Smash Brothers, so respect to him. At one point, I looked and like there were like four normies. They all had a blind wave sticker on their back. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Who's doing this? I got three of them. <laughs> um, no, we also yeah, uh, chats right. There was a uh, we spent a little bit of time with a few of the normies on a sauna bus as well, sauna. Mm-hmm. which was called a uh, social sauna? sauna, sauna social, social which was really cool. Mm-hmm. It's just a mobile bus that is a, a sauna. Yeah, it's a converted school bus. <laughs> it's really awesome. They put a lot of a lot of hard work into that. Yeah, and they're on yeah, yeah. Chris and Marquetta. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and Navi did. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, but it was really cool. I've heard them talk about it, but I, I didn't get to, uh, to go to that one. Yeah, I think you were asleep. Mm-hmm. It was it was a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. After uh, I forget, I think you guys got food somewhere, and we went and got food somewhere else yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Now the last couple of conventions that we've done, and granted, there hasn't been a lot since the shutdown. But the last couple that we've done, if I'm if I'm 100% engaged during the day, like, you know, trying to communicate, talk with people, hear them over the dull roar of ambient noise, like, it just wipes me. And by the time we're done on the floor, I'm just kind of like a zombie, I feel like. So, but there's a couple of times that I went out after, but I still had a hard time hearing. Sure, yeah. So, no, I get you. It feels like sometimes it limits me and what I, not necessarily what I can do, but what I like. I feel like I have the ability to sometimes, but no, I'm saw, right there with you. Yeah, like you either get me the next day, or I'll go out and hang out late. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, but not both. Unless there's Smash, Smash <laughs> I can just do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I feel like I used to be able to power through that and be like, no, just point your ear in at their mouth, and we'll be fine, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> their noise hole. <laughs> but noise hole. I think as I get older too, just my one ear has to do a lot of work, and it, it's not going to stay 100% forever either. My dad, he does what I do now, but just because he's older, he'll just shift his whole head at people. Like, what? You know? Sure, yeah. No shame. <laughs> you should be shameless too. I know, but it's just, I don't know. It's one of those things. Well, it's it's weird to be like, hey, it's our, I have a weakness on this side. Yeah. Can you acknowledge that? <laughs> right? Like, it's, Sure. I can't hear you, and I'm trying yeah. to. <laughs> Please. Yep. So I need to shave that side of your head and put the the giant mute symbol mm-hmm. in a tattoo. <laughs> I mean, but people might not understand it. You need to just like you. He has a side of his head shaved all the time, and it says, "Don't talk here." <laughs> 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 That's just what it says. <laughs> like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Maybe like because there's been in the deaf community. There's like a. Do you put the deaf in symbol? Do you put the mute symbol? Like I think you should hang like an out of order sign or something. Yeah, you know? out of order would be good. Hang a That's sign? not like the coolest tattoo either. You know, make it an earring. Maybe an earring. Oh, uh, like it's hanging from the yeah. ear. Yeah. Kind of it says like out, of out of order right yeah. here, yeah. and it's yeah. See, I like go. that. It's clever, but it's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I think the mute sign and the deafness sign is kind of cool, but I, I still have to think about it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But yeah. I also, I mean, we had a, we had some, there were some cool things there too. I personally, after playing Tears of the Kingdom, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I, there was a foam Master Sword there that I had my eye on, because I got a real Master Sword, uh, but you know what? It's heavy, and you can't play with it as much, but that thing, I mean, I can play with that. And then there was, you know, three others right beside it. You know, there was a glowing one, there's a decayed one, there's a dark one. I'm like, I, I just turned to my wife and I'm like, 
by the end of this, I will have all four of those Master Swords. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, sure you will. But all then right. she ended up buying it for me. <laughs> so I came home with four new Master Swords to play with. Yeah, I ended up getting a... Because uh, the whole time there, too, Melanie and I were both looking for things for the kids because mm-hmm. they didn't come. And uh, Leon likes Zelda a lot. And he had a shield at one point, a Hillian shield. And yep. it was like a plastic one. Sure. And it's broken. It just, you know, eventually it just gave out. So this one had a foam one. And I was like, oh, I'll get that. Maybe I should get him a sword, too. He yep. has one sword. He might like another one. And they had one with, like, a scabbard. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that might be cool to get. So I got him those. And uh, whenever we were giving them to him, uh, the other kids were downstairs. He was playing VR. And I was like, hey, Leon, do you want to you wanna come here for a minute? You can come back and play VR afterwards. But we had a few things to show you guys. And uh, I gave him his sword and shield that night. And he never went back to VR that night. <laughs> he he was holding those the whole night. <laughs> like, oh yeah, man, like, that's oh. a win for the and physical. He's like, trying to yeah. figure out what game this one's from. Like, yeah. I think it's Skyward Sword, maybe. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure, bub. <laughs> I don't I don't know which one it's from. <laughs> so, but he was really he was really interested in that one. He thought it was really cool. And then the other kids liked some of the stuff they got. That that version of the Master Sword has had a very small redesign over the years because it used to be that the crest on the bottom would have a another upside down yellow triangle yeah just as part of this design but too many people started doing like theory crafting and saying it's the fourth piece of the triforce like the missing one it's in the, the middle terra for you know they did all this stuff that nintendo's like just get rid of that triangle it causes yeah. too much grief <laughs> so newer games don't have it yeah no he liked that one we got a, a gyarados stuffy for kanan he really mm-hmm. liked that one um and then there was like a cool place that did like custom like little rugs. Yeah. And there was a Miles Morales one, and that's Colson's favorite like yeah. Spider Man. So that's cool. I saw him. that rug. One. That was a we got him booth. that rug too, and he thought that was cool. We also got him a Bakugo beanie. Cool. Because he likes Bakugo a lot. Nice. So, and then Ayla got like a Pokemon purse and an Uraraka hat. Nice. So it's cool. Um. And then I also got to meet uh. Did you guys meet, uh, I know Eric did, Gerard the Completionist, mm-hmm. another YouTuber. Yep. Got to meet him. Um, I don't know if any of you guys, Calvin might have, the uh, Did You Know Gaming yeah. guy? I'm, I was in the green room with yeah, you when you were you talking were. to him. Yeah. We met him and talked I to him for him a little bit. I saw him at the hotel. Damn, Gara. Yeah. Another Gara? 50. Gara's, Gara. he's trying to be Hokage. You are, he, he <laughs> is. Yeah, or, or like, ka- he's getting support. Ka- ka- Kazakage? The Kazakage. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Gara, so much. Thank you so much, Gara. What makes him uh, special? Jeez. The uh, but no, that was fun too. We got to meet a couple other YouTubers and stuff mm-hmm. and talk with them. That wasn't just us or the normies. So, mm-hmm. the normies, you know, that's fine. But it's nice to meet new people sometimes too. Yep. Oh yeah. So, it was really cool. And sometimes I've you know I've had it pointed out like that guy's a YouTuber. And I'm like I haven't seen it, but the completionist. I've, I've you know, uh, when I finished God of War Ragnarok and I. I love that feeling when you're done with the game and now you get to go interact with the best of like the fan content, you know, find the the memes or the, the like for me for Zelda, like the crazy things that people have made uh since the launch of the game. I kind of stayed away from it from fear of spoilers, but yeah. When I finished Ragnarok, he had I was one of my first things I was most curious. I was like, well, "Okay, what was in there that I missed?" And he's the completionist, so he he completes the game so you don't have to. And it does it in a very, very entertaining way. So I've watched, I've since watched a couple of his videos. So it was, it was fun for me to be like, look around the corner and be like, I know that YouTuber. Oh, cool. Because that never happens to me. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> um, we also, like, we did the secret games. Yeah. Um, Rick and myself and Eric hosted different elements of it. And also Chris from the Normies was there too. Yep. And uh, basically it's like Squid Games, but for their convention and... The winner gets a lifetime ticket to all the future pop cons, basically. And, and only one person died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, one of the uh, one of the things at the very end, the final like challenge or game of it or whatever was Smash Brothers. Yes, and it was. And I was like, oh, sweet, that'd be cool. Um, and then they ha- had to the winner of that had to fight uh, Gerard, and they did something I've never seen before in Smash because usually uh-huh. we do more of like a tournament rule set and scene and whatnot but this was a fun like villager only Mm -hmm. and it was like a tree game yeah a tree hot potato game yeah so all they could do was they could plant the tree and then chop it down yeah which if you played smash this you guys probably know what i'm talking about if not you're confused 
<laughs> and when the tree falls over, the other villager could pocket it. Mm -hmm. And then every time they would throw it out, the other villager could pocket it. And each time it got swapped, yeah. it would gain more and more. If you don't pocket it, it will hit you. Yeah. But each time it was pocketed, the hit would be way harder. Yeah, much yeah. stronger. So it, be, it turned into a game of hot potato. You yeah. could move, jump, dodge, like do all those kind of things, yeah. taunt, dance around. Yeah. So it's like, when are they gonna throw the? When are they gonna throw the tree? Is the tree coming? <laughs> so that was a cool little. It match was. It that was. It was fun. The guy that went up against the completionist, who obviously has done this before, had never done it before. Yeah. So it did have an element of like, all right, let's teach this guy how this works. But I had. I watched a couple of clips online of people that know what they're doing, doing it. And yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Maybe it's something we'll have to do in one of our Smash streams one day. Yeah. Just to, as a break. Yeah. <laughs> From the real stuff. We all play. We do four, four person villager. Yeah, right. Oh, Two trees are out. We need like the biggest map. <laughs> they got some big maps. They are some big maps. So, no. So that was fun to watch. I enjoyed uh, watching that. We also commentated on it a little bit too and mm -hmm. had fun with that. So. And then I also got to I got to drive a well I don't know I'll, t I'll tell the, the longer story of it I guess too but sure um, Melanie doesn't trust my truck to drive far away because she's and, smart mm -hmm. yep. which I don't I don't it smells like Reasonable. explosive fuels and we left the van here for all the kids so that uh, her parents could take them anywhere if they needed to or load them up and there was a vehicle for them to be able to use so yep. we decided to rent a car and. I wasn't sure what all we were gonna have to take, so I was like, "Well, we'll just do one of the like standard SUV rentals, mm -hmm. and then have some extra room." That morning, they called me and said, "The car we thought we would have for you has been extended for like three more days and won't be here." And, like we have, but some, you had a reservation. Like, uh, we busy. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. busy. Um, so the uh, the the options they had there was like we have a van we have some cars or we have like a I don't know a compact SUV or so and we went with the compact SUV and I drove that back home I thought it kind of smelled like smoke but I'm like well there's no smoking signs maybe it's just me I've never been in this car so maybe maybe I'm crazy and before we were leaving we were loading up and me and Melanie were going to take Leon to cross country because he goes across country now and they both were like, this smells like smoke in here. And Mel was like, I don't know if I can do a, you know, a five-hour drive in this, yeah, no. this smoky car smell. So we're like, all right, well, we'll take it back. So we took it back, and the, we had called beforehand. They're like, well, all we have now are cars. I'm like, dang, okay. Well, well, we'll see, I guess. And when we parked and got going in, I was looked at Mel and I was like, look, they got a Dodge Charger. We'll take that. Yep. <laughs> and we went inside. He goes, are, are you, you know, are you Aaron? I'm like, yeah. I was like, all right, well, we got us cars. Um, I got this Dodge Charger here if you want. And I looked at Melanie, and I'm like, do you want we, we She what, goes, as long as it doesn't smell like smoke, I don't care anymore. What color was it? It was like this light blue. It was like an color. electric blue almost. Gotcha. It was, yeah. it was pretty. It was, uh, it was pretty. It was a pretty looking car. And I was like, I've never driven a Dodge Charger. or My dad had a Camaro, but like most of those types of cars are like more on the faster end of the stuff. Like, I've never driven those. I'm like, oh, sure, well, sure. let's see how that is. And it was nice. It, it went real smooth, and it could speed up very quickly. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie was uh, pleasantly oh, surprised <laughs> because we, we got to a part where I was getting off like a, a rest area hidden back on the highway, yeah. and I just took that thing to 70 real quick, and yep. she's like, the van could never do that. <laughs> so it would be whining, and we would be at like 40. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, that was really cool. All right. And I only drove it there and back, so... And then whenever I took it back, uh, I was like, hey, kids, do you want to, we got to go to Walmart too. Do you guys want to ride with me or mom? I'm like, we'll ride with you. I'm like, okay. We got in it. We drove down the highway, went back to Enterprise and stuff. And when we were leaving there, Colson was like, I'm going to miss this car. I'm going to miss you, car. <laughs> like, I only rode in it for like four minutes. <laughs> but no, it was pretty cool. So that was another fun little extra thing that I got to do. Yep. Originally, I was just going to have some SUV that I've driven sure. tons of SUVs. Uh, anything else from PopCon that's happened? Or any other stories? We met a lot of fans. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people. A lot of awesome fans. Mm -hmm. We met uh, our speed meme artist. Uh, yes. Rookie, Rookie was there. He's in the chat now. Rookie. And, and so many uh, Blind Wave podcasts in the past, you'll sometimes hear us be like, how did he make that so quick? <laughs> 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 so we met the man. We did. Yes. 
Hi, Rookie. Hi, it was rookie. nice meeting you. We got a picture with him too, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, we took pictures with quite a few people and stuff, but no, it was it was cool. We met a lot of new names that you know, I don't necessarily recognize, which is what I like to do too. Like I like to meet people that I recognize, like Rookie. I, oh, I know that name, but I also like to meet people where it's like, hey, I've just been watching yeah. you guys. I'm not necessarily a part of you know, Discord or Twitch or anything too. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, so just kind of learning who they are and what they get to watch or like to watch and stuff is always fun. Yeah, it was like our what? It's like our fifth or sixth time meeting with the normies, and we still haven't gotten a group photo. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think nobody's we've met ever all. in one spot. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Never meet them all. True. I kept thinking about that. We should get a group photo one day, but we didn't do that. One day. Yep. We'll one it's day. probably we'll see. easier for us to go to them for a group photo. Yeah. Just go to Indiana one day and. Just one day, get a group photo and come back. Just surprise them. We got to play a little smash. You know where yeah, they're... Yeah, all right. <laughs> you yeah. know where they live. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, smash would be fun. I, I like playing smash in general, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Speaking of smash, I guess that'd be... That might be spoilers. We won't talk about it. Yeah. You can talk about it. It's exciting. I mean, the well, community we might do knows. That. We might do that tomorrow anyway, Maybe I guess, tomorrow. right? Yeah. That's a good point. They'll, they'll know tomorrow. Oh, that fine. was really cool. Rick, do you want to talk about that at all? You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, do you want me to talk about it? If you want to. Okay. Or I can. It was just it was one of the exciting things, too. It's kind of on topic. Last couple of weeks. Stretch. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my birthday was recently. Um, actual birthday was not so good. But um, uh, so for my last birthday, um, they uh, Discord had um, generously gotten together and put together what is frankly an absurd amount of money in order to... um, (laughs) Frankly. (laughs) In order to give me a cameo into a uh, Bad Ben movie. (laughs) Yep. uh, Which is a horror movie series. Maybe we'll check out one of those come October. It's almost Uh, time. uh, Yes. um, That I enjoy quite a bit. Um, Unfortunately... Things happened, and um, the cameo just couldn't happen. So um, we were able to get a refund, and Baba came to me and was like, "Like, what should we spend this money on instead after the gift?" And I was like, "Man, I don't know. Like, that's it's, it's quite a bit of money." Uh, before that, I had been looking at getting a uh, custom GameCube controller, uh-huh. and I thought about like, "Man, this would be really cool to do like for the guys for Christmas." I was like, it'll be about this much money. <laughs> Why don't we just get four custom GameCube controllers? Like for me and the guys. And that was a year ago. <laughs> and so like every now and then it's kind of come back into my mind. Like I wonder what's happening with that. But I didn't want to ask about it because I didn't know like if there's going to be a surprise sure. or something, you know. Like it, it's for my birthday, so I didn't want to push. Um, and then this last mailbag, uh, we got a gift. And it was indeed these custom GameCube controllers, which was the uh, best uh, Rick's birthday ever. It was. <laughs> I'm so was. glad Nigel didn't do a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Nigel, but uh, also uh, thank you, thank Nigel. You, Nigel. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and show off mine. We'll save the rest of them for streaming tomorrow. Yeah. If you want to check those out. Uh, uh, Rick's. Uh, I, don't, I don't care about Bad Ben as much as I care about Smash. So, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I've got this sweet berserk. Uh, thing here, which Discord funded Mac put a lot of work into mm-hmm. for thank these. You, so Mac. thank you so much, Mac. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes, I uh, have not got a chance to try them out yet. <gasps> I hope they feel good. I it, hope they do. It, it is Soon. recent. It's still small, strongly of paint. Yeah. <laughs> so I left mine out to air. <laughs> but, they had the the little stand. Yeah, the stand a box came with it as well. Absolutely amazing. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Each box had our name on it. Yep. So. Really cool. Yeah, so you can put them in there to protect it from dust. You can put them on the stand and display them. Mm-hmm. I feel like I should put that in the box to keep it protected from dust, but the one we play with all the time... Should go on the stand. I might put it on the stand. Yeah. Like, that might be a cool way of doing that, maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So. I just love the intimidation factor. Like, if we ever do meet up with RTTV, <laughs> just yeah. we just pull out these engraved boxes with custom <laughs> you, know, like, you imagine like hey you want to play some pool and a guy pulls out a custom Jake well, cue ball thing Lucille. you know <laughs> yeah bring out Lucille I yeah. thought about it too because uh, Spencer had a pretty sweet controller I didn't know if he it did. was custom or what but I'd never cool. seen a controller like that before and I was like oh man I really? got this one yep. 
but I'm still going to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah. But anyway, that was really cool. I was really excited about mine. I was excited about all of them. Yeah. Ask Calvin why he got one. <laughs> Calvin's was great. You should ask Rick why he why he said that I should get one. I want we need to be an incentive, Rick? you know, like an incentive to play more. Yeah, now Not, you have to. Yeah, you the, have a control. We can do with that. You got to use it. Yes. I got to practice. See, there yes. you go. I, yes, Calvin. Mission accomplished. Ah, all right, yeah. let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just play now. What are we doing? <laughs> last, last hour of the podcast, we just play, play Smash. Hey, we've done it Jake before. It was that one day we we're like, oh, we got podcasts. Like, what do you guys want to talk about? We were just like, I just want to play Smash. So we just played Smash and talked. Remember that? <laughs> that one wasn't here. Yeah, that was the podcast. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Smash cast. Smash cast. Oh, man. But no, that was really cool. I'm excited about that. We can show them. I think we're going to play Smash tomorrow. So we'll show them tomorrow. Yeah, we'll show we them off Smash, tomorrow. So. Make sure you come back. You can see the controllers. Yes. Here the and we'll show the boxes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. But no, that was really cool. I think that's probably the best thing Nigel's ever done. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's good. No, I think um, I will enjoy this more than I would have the cameo. So. For a longer period of time, too, right? Probably. Like, yeah. Like, we played Smash a lot. I know, I know, Dababa. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, I don't know. We maybe we'll watch a bad Ben. I, have we watched like a bad horror movie? Like we've watched some bad. Jennifer's movies. Body's not bad, yeah. but it's not, I didn't I would feel put like Jennifer's it was. Body on the top. It's not Samurai Cop bad. No, no, it's on not like, like it's not bad, bad but yeah, also like, it, it was like on that realm of like, I don't know. Like it wasn't like amazing either, but I really enjoyed it. Sure. So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just I don't know. I'm trying to think of what the worst bad movie I've seen is, like horror movie wise. Yeah, but I don't know what that is. Just don't uh, have you seen, the like, killer Sharknado? penis maybe. Oh dang man, that's good. The okay. killer penis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've told you about that, right? I, at one point, I came <laughs> into uh, my parents' house. Yeah. And was talking with them and whatnot, and uh-huh. talking with mom or whatever, and dad was watching a movie. Yeah. And I went over and was started watching it with him, and it was like a horror movie. And there was this girl who was like in a bathtub. Okay. You've, you've seen Nightmare on Elm Street, right? You know I how have. like, you know, Nancy's there in the bathtub the channel, and yeah. it was like, Shh, right, pops up. Yeah. It's like, ooh, dang. But that's kind of like what this was. And then she gets strangled and killed by a like very long penis. And I was like, that's. How what, long we. Looking? What the hell are you watching, Dad? Yeah. What, <laughs> what is this? He goes, long enough to know. strangle someone. Huh. <laughs> so I, it was. I, when you said the name of the title, I'm, in my head, I'm going, like, all right, I think I could beat a penis. I think like one on one. I think I'm good, but I, mean, I talk about he this can't movie wrap me up all the time, and then always forget what it's called. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes you watch something like uh, it's the like Scream. Of teeth. I believe it's called One Eyed Monster. Okay, I believe. Yeah. Um, the premise of the story, and I've probably talked about this monster. before again, but yeah, you the, have. The general premise of it is the idea that Ron Jeremy, right, mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. doing a movie. Yeah, and. In this movie, they end up taking a break. He goes out into the woods to smoke, or outside the cabin, because they're up in the woods in a cabin. Yes. They go out to, like, he goes out to smoke or pee or whatever he's doing, and this ray of light from, like, space just hits him, right? His dick or him? No, hits him. Okay. It it radiates him or whatever it does, right? He goes back in, begins his scene, and then dies during the scene. Oh. And they're like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? Ron Jeremy's dead. They're like, well, we need to call the police. And then someone's like, wait. Where's his penis? <laughs> it's missing. <laughs> and it is going around killing people now. <laughs> so, okay. I, the one scene I remember, and I, I'm, I may be wrong. Maybe this is, maybe it's a different movie because I don't know wh- wh- where my dad found it, how he was watching it. It just, it, he claimed it was just like it was just on. <laughs> yeah. So all right. But there was like a claymation <laughs> it was moment just on. <laughs> where like this penis was like walking around. Okay. Right. Also, it walks and stuff. Yeah. Okay. It walks on the balls. On it its does. testicles. Yep. Gotcha. But there was I thought a, I was gonna make a series of accidents, like people keep slipping on it or something. No, but, no. Right. And then like, like a banana peel. Yeah, yeah. Then like a nail was propped up a little bit, right? And it caught a nut on this, and it's like hopping ah! around, like it's hurting stuff. Yeah. I'm like, oh god. Oh god. It was. It's a weird sympathy huh. for this penis. It's a weird movie. Okay. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, One Eyed Monster came out in 2008. See, I know that I'm. 2008. I know it's not the correct way of thinking about horror movies, but. Sometimes when I'm watching them, I got you know I got to be invested. I put myself you know. 
That's like, so recent. Like, Freddy Krueger's coming after me. There's nothing I can do. Like, he's, for some reason, being burned alive gave him superpowers, yeah. you know? It's like, okay, well, maybe I can get burned alive and try to get superpowers and get him there, you know? But yeah. that's going to be tough, you know? <laughs> but if I watch something like Scream, yeah. like, that's just a dude with a knife. You yeah. know what it takes for me to be a dude with a knife? Like, another knife, you yep. know? Like, I'll knife fight you, yeah. you know? I, I don't know if I'll be... Like I'll be, it'll be adrenaline, and you're much bigger than that dude. Yeah, I'll, yeah, like we can do it. <laughs> but the killer penis, I had to Although, really know how it's coming at me. If he's coming from this way, you can't hear him coming. That's true. Man, I can't even try to look up. Ah, uh, uh, you know, walls to that. There's I was trying to see if I could find this one clip to make sure it's the right movie, but I, I, all kinds of stuff are showing up, and I don't know. It's hard. Yeah, one yeah. of the, one you of really got to wade through the the penises to get. One to of the, the actors in the movie for. is Charles Napier. There we go. And he was Lieutenant Boyle in Silence of the Lambs. He was Tucker McElroy in Blues Brothers. He was Murdoch in Rambo 2. Mm, and he yeah. was Commander Gilmore in Austin Powers. Which, after seeing his face, I'm like, yeah, I remember him in that. I'm like, okay. Because I was like, that's a bigger name right there. I recognize that name. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way, Eric. Like, for me, the, the ones that scare me are the things that you can't fight against. Yeah. Like Lovecraft or, like, existential horror, mm -hmm. like Silent Hill style oh, yeah. stuff. Sure. Where, like, there's nothing to fight. Like, it's just hopeless and yeah. doomed, and you're at the mercy of whatever this thing is. Yeah. Agreed. So, But you, could, be, you could beat a penis. I think so. But if it's, like, walking around and stuff. We have a lot stuff. of penises around the office. Like, yeah. if you want to try. I be, I've beaten them all. Eric's just beaten them all. <laughs> <laughs> As in, Rick is referring haven't came to, across what I can't handle. <laughs> Rick is referring to the many dildos that yes. we have received. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> The bag of dicks. Yep. I don't even know where we, that is anymore. We do have a oh, bag man. of dicks How somewhere. How did we lose a bag of dicks? It may have gotten sentient. I think it's, where is the bag? It, fucked off. Isn't it down on the the, the Donkey Kong set now? No. Send out think, an so. eternal memo to our employees. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, where is the bag Find of dicks? If you've seen the bag of dicks, please return to Ray's Please desk. alert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Notify Eric. Um, no, I get you. Like, I think, like, care of Eric. You know, uh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Is a tough thing. That's scary. Like yeah. Jason too. can't Definitely. be stopped. You know. I mean, uh, Jason. Yeah. Have you have you have you watched Jason? Movies? I said be, can't be stopped. Oh, can't be stopped. No, Michael I can't Myers, stop Michael Jason. Myers. Well, he like, also yeah. just keeps going. Yeah. Sure. Right. Like they can be stopped temporarily. Well, yeah. I mean, Kinda. right. You yeah. can like you can run, but and they walk, but they still get you. Yeah. I never see them hustle, but they're no. still there. No, they just get there, right? I I don't have that power. Yeah. How do you feel? You don't about have the power to hustle. Jaws. Jaws. Yeah. I love Jaws. I mean, I can't do anything with a shark, especially yeah. like if a shark came to like my house, yeah. then I think I could fuck it up. Sure, but if I'm in its house in the water, I I'm not doing anything. <clears throat> I could just not get in the water. The jaws is hilarious because like, what are we gonna do? And it's like, just don't go. It's just there's a line. Just don't go across the line. You're fine. <laughs> it's terrorizing the town. I'm like, just don't go in the water. <laughs> He's over there. Yeah, you imagine Freddy Krueger like can only the one like he can't cross the railroad track or something. It's like yeah. ah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like you can't not go to sleep. Exactly. Yeah, you must sleep. What about like Trimmers? Trimmers is uh, tri Trimmers like changed my life when I watched it. Yeah, and, like after after the first week, like I was jumping rock to rock. You know, mm -hmm. I oh, love when movies do that. It, yeah. it sucked because yeah. the first time that I watched it, I was like nine years old, and we watched it in the basement of our newly built house, and we couldn't go upstairs because it wasn't finished yet. There was like. People come in the morning at like mm -hmm. six in the morning and start hammering on the floor. So we were just trapped in this basement, and it was not mm -hmm. a restful night. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. That's why he has like, so many guns. <laughs> I can't tell you like how far you can get on a farm with not touching the ground. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get pretty far. Hmm. But things where it's just like normal people. I saw someone say Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yeah. where it's like those are just. Normal pe people, but they're normal people right? are terrifying sure. as well. Sure, you know? it's yeah. just certain levels. Levels of yeah. terrifying. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Mm. But it's it's always for me. It's just because I'm obsessed with filmmaking and how someone is trying to make you feel. I feel like that uh, over almost all other genres, like has a very particular set of tools it uses to get you, like with the music, with the cinematography, with what it's choosing to show versus what it's not choosing to show. And sometimes I get too into my head being like, why am I seeing that? If I was there, I could. So why am I scared? Mm. Why is it so tense? <laughs> you know? Um, but that's just a, it's a me thing. And I know I'm not great at it. But I loved being able to be in that mindset while watching 
the Freddy Krueger movie with Melanie because mm. she more than made up for my weakness there. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We should maybe do another one of those. Yeah. I was talking to her about wanting to do another like Flanagan show or something like that too because he has some fun like scary movie things. Yeah. Scary TV shows I guess too. But. And they also have like deeper meanings too which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I like the ones that aren't just straight up you know shock factor. And they also have like other like story beats and mm-hmm. elements of it where it's like, sure, there's scary moments or there's, you know, suspense build up. But there's other things too. So I'm very excited for that. We were talking just the other day. I'm like, guys, it's almost October. And half mm-hmm. my kids went, oh man. And the other <laughs> half was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because I always do like scary or thematic during October. And then I do the same thing in December too, where I'm like, let's do Christmas stuff. We might start watching Stranger Things. I think that's that'd be, thematic that'd be to, good, to being good, October good, and stuff. Halloween. What season two is takes place during Halloween, doesn't it? Right, because they dress up as like Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it's it's two or three. I can't remember. I think it's two. Three is the mall. Yeah, that sounds right. Hmm. In summer. Hmm. Well, do you guys want to check out some questions? I've seen that we've sent had a bunch coming in. I can look at questions. Yeah, some questions? I have that thing opened here. The Baba sent a hydrate. Ooh, the hydrate. Oh, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we have several questions. If mm-hmm. you guys have any other questions, you send them in. We might not read all of them, but we'll read at least some of them or maybe even what we can get to. So, uh, Shiraz Saeed, in light of recent big budget failures, what do you guys think of the pattern that directors come out and blame the audience for their expectations, Secret Invasion, or the fact that the audience just did not get their vision, the Flash. So yeah. they're blaming the audience for not liking I the mean, content kind of thing? that can be one avenue that someone takes, especially if they're very proud of their work and are trying to come up with a reason that doesn't make them feel shitty about themselves, <laughs> you know? Um, sure. I don't disparage anybody that feels that way. Uh, I, for me, I don't know what causes like these big, big, giant bombs that are happening, but... If I have to find one like underlying thing that's probably affecting all of them, it's probably studio interference. I think that I mean that's been a common thing for I mean, a long time, right? You know, yeah. I, we haven't seen the Flash yet, and I'm interested in checking it out. But it would be on the long list of WB movies that the studio has fucked with and changed and moved things around and sure. done this and this and this and you know, uh, my favorite things of the last you know couple of years have been very singular uh in the in their artistic expression sure you know and i do think that there is something to and maybe it's internet is more of a part of it mm-hmm. but expectations from movies or shows and stuff i mean even even us sometimes like i try to like make sure i reel back yeah. what my expectations are for something because like yeah. you can go pretty wild with ideas and theories and different things too and sometimes the ideas you come up with you might like better because yeah. maybe it's yours or maybe you just like the idea of it but when when a studio or a, a director or a writer didn't go that route, blaming them for not doing what you were planning on, or like collectively as an internet, sometimes you can make some really good ideas, suggestions, sure. thoughts, because you have a bunch of people and you're reading all these ideas and working together on like making a story. And I've read some really cool story ideas on paper, you yeah. know, from the internet. But sometimes I think that too can also hinder like what a movie is going to go for or what they can do or, you know, complications that occur, whether you can or can't get an actor or whatever the case may be. So I think maybe there is a little bit of expectation buildups that happen, that happen. Mm -hmm. but I also try not to fault uh, creators from not going the route that I'm like, man, I was really wanting this, you know, had the same thing with like, you know. Soka series is out right now. I've had some, I had some thoughts before it came out where I'm like, oh man, it'd be so sure. cool if they did this idea, yeah. you know? And now it's like, well, it doesn't look like they're going that right, that way. But it doesn't mean that I don't like it. I'm just waiting sure. to see what's going to happen and what they want to do with the story so far. But I think it can happen. And I, I think there's just also the, there's a big shift. Like when you hear the word superhero fatigue, like I agree with it. Well, maybe not that specific definition, but when I was younger, when I was going to the movies as a kid all the time, I feel like... It was like just starting where like, hey, no, it is normal for you to get sequels to the franchises and like, hey, it's it's starting to become like, we're getting this more. This is cool. Now this is going to connect into here and this is going to connect into here and it's really exciting. But now that feels like the norm that yeah. all the studios are chasing. And my fatigue is just with like, 
I don't want to instantly think about what's coming next. I want to think about what I just watched. Sure. And there are some things that have come out in the last couple of years that I've really liked just it by itself, but because it's part of a big franchise or because it is teasing something that's coming later, all the conversation is about what's what, going to happen what's next. or how this affects this and not about the singular thing. So I get more excited with the singular stuff now, I think. And that, and that for me, is where the fatigue has step, stepped in. Sure. Like not a specific, you know, sci-fi or superhero or anything, but just sometimes it's just cool to let, let me just think about what I'm watching now and not how this is going to affect me in the next 10 years because, you know, these studios want to make giant franchises now. Yeah. Everybody chases the MCU model, you know? Sure. And I feel like the MCU model was so successful that people are like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with it now. Maybe less. <laughs> sure. But we'll see. But DC is going to try it again. <laughs> we'll see. But that's why movies like RRR, you know, this last couple years, uh, you know, even watching movies from a while ago that I haven't revisited, like Inception, it's stuff that, like, you can, you can experience that art and you don't have to compare it to anything else. And sure. So, you watch a new Marvel movie, Everybody in the world is comparing it to every other Marvel movie. And the comics. And that, the comics. Yeah. And the cartoon. You know. Yeah. And the news, the trailer for the next movie that's coming out that validates the character tension here. Sure. we knew it's not going to happen. Then, when they do something that the comics yeah. or the cartoon didn't do before, sometimes they're upset. Sometimes yeah. it's better, you know, whatever the case may be. But it, it is that comparison that yeah. can kind of hurt a lot of that, too. Yeah. Is it Capricorn says, it was hard to think that way watching the latest season of The Witcher. That's one of those things yeah. too, where it's like, well, I know in the future mm -hmm. it won't be like this, but trying to watch that season for what it is and what Henry did and everything, yeah. you know, like I get that idea too. No, it's just it, for for The Witcher for me, yeah, it's the Henry stuff, but it's also like I, you know, I understand when people disagree about like, you know, well, what is Star Wars? Like, well, that's a different answer for different people. Sure, but when a when creators say like, well, we don't really like the source material and we're going to do something different. It's like, that's clearly incorrect <laughs> is what I feel like. <laughs> we'll make something else then, you know? So sure, stuff yeah. like The Witcher, even though I, I kind of enjoyed season two, uh, there was a lot of people that didn't because it divulged a lot. And then with the Henry stuff, I was just kind of like, I don't feel super excited. I'm excited for Ahsoka because Dave Filoni is excited for Ahsoka. Yeah. You know? And I don't, really, I don't know if I felt the same way about The Witcher. Because I don't feel like, feel like Henry's excited. I'm not going to watch. No, I get what you mean. Or that hardcore fan base, you know? The one that gets me the most, um, and I don't know, sometimes it could be studio and stuff too, but I hear of like actors sometimes where they're taking a role that is of a character from a video game or from, yeah. you know, a comic or whatever it is, and they don't want to look into that character at all. Like, And it yeah, feels like they're not sure. trying to capture who that is. And so usually I feel like, well, I, can, you yeah. should, I feel like you should at least understand what that character is and what they go for. I understand you know, that. But. I, I will ex accept him. No one's asking me. But like I'm, I'm way more supportive of that for individual actors than I am like a director or a writer that's trying to capture a feeling. An actor needs to do what the director asked them to do, what the sure. casting director has to do that work. You know, like, yeah, it's great when an actor can really get involved into what they're doing, too. But sometimes that can lead to, not tainted, but a different approach than if you were just, you know, trying to be you and trying to be real and earnest, you know? So there are actors that I've heard from, like, no, I don't, I didn't want to see a single thing about that. Yeah, and, like they're uh, keeping I think it themselves benefits. sterile of it. Like, you know, sure. if you compare, this is different than comics, but if you compare, like, The Office, UK to the US, the big difference is... The boss, Michael sure. Scott versus uh, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, Rick or Gervais, uh, Brent something Brent. I can't remember the main character's name in that UK version. But they're such different shows because Michael Scott's actor Stephen Carell, he was like, okay, I'm not watching anything from the show. I can't, I can't do that because then I'll just be doing an impression. You sure. know, so I, I kind of get that in certain regards. Uh, yeah, I get that. But like, it's this. I guess the idea is like, if you were gonna do Spider Man, yeah, right. But then, like, he acted more like, you know, Rambo or something. Sure. It's like, well, then you should just maybe make, like, a new Spider-Man. Yeah. Make, like, a different. Don't try to make, like, sure. the Peter Parker Spider-Man. Yeah. Because his, you know, one-liners and who he is, like, that's kind of. 
the people people quippy. are already yeah they're attached to what that yeah, is but that, maybe make like a new version I agree. Or do something different you know I, I i agree with the caveat of like ultimately that responsibility is up to the casting director and sure. the director himself yeah like whoever casted uh mark Wahlberg as solly set up that dude to fail because he's not solly we all have a idea of what Solly should be. Sure. So that's the kind of role I feel like, oh no, I don't think that you can't you need to have someone that is casted to be that character. You know, even if they have never seen the games, you can still feel when somebody has has the Solliness. Sure. And Wahlberg had no Solliness. No. They should have got the uh <laughs> you know. They should have got that guy who was the bad guy from Avatar. Yeah. Uh uh Steven I wanna say Root, but that's wrong. No. Sounds Lang. Lang. Stephen Lang. Yeah. Stephen yeah. Lang. Don't Breathe and Avatar. Yeah, he was good in that little fan film. He did that little fan film. Yeah. I think Nathan Fillion, like, I like what they did with that, but I think he was a pretty good, he would have been a pretty good Sully. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So. <clears throat> All right. Um, I guess we'll move on. That was one question. I love questions. Uh, be Layman. Will you guys react to the Netflix One Piece show? It could be interesting since you guys, except for Rick, haven't seen much of the anime, and would be curious what your guys is, uh, what you guys would think. I my only answer is one I don't know, but two, I am a fan when something has balls, and it, everything I've seen from them is like, hey, I think they have some balls. I think that they're trying to to push that thing. It didn't. When I saw the trailer for the Netflix Death Note movie, I wasn't like, ah, oh, they're doing it. I was like, okay, I see. What they're but the One Piece stuff, at least anything I've seen, I've been like, hey, it feels like they're really giving it a, a good, honest shake. Yeah. So I'm interested. But I, I would want to hear maybe from some of the fans just being like, yeah, this is a good way of absorbing this story. But if they're just like, no, man, it's it's nothing compared to that, I have no problem not watching it either. I'm trying to think of live action like adaptations of animes I've watched not knowing the anime at all. You know, like not... Mm. Having uh, watched any of it, Alina well, Battle Angel would be one. Okay, yeah. that you watched not knowing anything. I mean, about, right? technically, Aaron, technically, Dragon Ball Evolution is one because you have not seen Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z proper. I guess, sure, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um, <laughs> you did you watch Ghost in the Shell live action before we watched the animated one? Go, wait, what is it? Ghost in the Shell with, uh, with Scarlett Johansson. Charles, I've never seen it yet. Oh, okay. I seen never it. mind. Uh, though I think I own it. Okay. Of course you do. I think I do. I don't know for sure. But no, I haven't seen that one. Um, but no, I mean, I would be open to watching One Piece show. I don't know when I would have time to watch One Piece anime as it is now. Yeah. But maybe a live action show could bridge some of the filler gaps or whatever it is and tell a story in a fun way too. That yeah. wouldn't be as, as long as, I don't know, a thousand episodes or whatever they have, you know? I mean, yeah. It, it it seems like it's a very very grand story, maybe one of our the biggest stories <laughs> that we have access to, but at the very least the the manga author seems pretty involved and pretty proud of it. So that was not the case with the Kira Toriyama and Dragon Ball Evolution. No, but it was the case with the Wing Commander movie. The Wing that, Commander movie that did not turn out well. Gotcha. Oh, Wing Commander. Is that the one that I'm thinking of? It's got uh, Freddie Prince Jr. and Matthew Lillard. Yep. That's the one I'm thinking of. Mm-hmm. Wait, man, I like both I mean, those if, guys. If people feel like we should watch that, Rick. Yeah, <laughs> Matthew Lillard one. Matthew Lillard, Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Scooby Doo. James Gunn did one of those movies, right? Did what? Scooby Doo. Did he do the Scooby Doo movies? I think he did. There's two Scooby Doo movies with Matthew Lillard. Lillard yeah, Lillard, I believe. Yeah, but James, yeah, James Gunn. Yeah, he wrote them. Okay. Really? Yeah. Something like that. I enjoyed both of those for the most part. Gotcha. I thought the casting they did for those characters were pretty good. Yeah. Agreed. It's just the CG dog you got to get over. Uh, I didn't bother I, me. CG dogs have gotten amazingly better, and they still bother me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we remember. <laughs> <laughs> He's a writer, gotcha. On both of them? Yeah, I'm on, uh, maybe. Sounds right. They went to an island. That's kind of cool. But, yeah. you know... He did both of them. Sweet. The one, the One Piece TV series might be the only way I can truly experience the that show in my lifetime. Because sure, I've, I've committed. Well, because like they did Death Note, but we watched all of that. Like that wasn't it wasn't as big of a commitment of trying to get that watched through. You know. No. Yeah. So, but this. No, I mean, one of the reasons that 
we started doing our April Fool's joke in the first place is that One Piece is so big and so long. Like, we don't want to start something that we can't say we're going to finish. Like, Naruto is long, but I feel like we can finish that. One Piece might be impossible for us to finish unless we drastically change our schedule for one show. Sure, <laughs> you know? yeah. So maybe this is the only way we'll be able to to to, to experience those those characters. I don't know. Just watch one episode every ten years, so we have like time to catch up with oh, the anime. Oh yeah, okay, I get. Like that. we're not getting spoiled. Sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we'll catch up. We might. We don't know what medical science is going to be like in another twenty five years. We might be like all like elves, where you don't die unless you're killed. And then, yeah, murder is going to be real bad then. Yeah. All right. Not that it wasn't already bad. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> next question is from uh, Japa Barga. Okay. Who says, do you guys have any idea how many people watch from other countries? When are you going to Japan? <laughs> uh, I have, this is funny because right before we were getting into sh- uh, stream, anytime I have a couple other minutes, I always deep dive in our analytics. I like to look and see what trends are and where things are being searched. And I just so happened right before we started podcast, I am on the screen that tells me exactly how many views we've had uh, over the course of our entire channel, mm. or at least, very least this channel. So there's a total. Divide amongst countries? Yeah. Well, I can at least say that we have a total of 883,597,000 views and okay. in, in, in three. Um, we're gonna percentage this out, right? Forty-two percent so. okay, of those hope it's not like a poll. <laughs> are from the United States. Forty-two. Forty-two. So three hundred and seventy-three wow. million seven hundred and sixty-one thousand views are from the United States. So everything else is everywhere else, or from VPN, or VPN. That's, say that's, that's true. That's, yeah. So it's just funny. I saw that come through earlier. I'm like, huh? I can answer that right now. <laughs> so, um. But yeah, as far this, as Japan, I don't know, maybe there is Star Wars Celebration going to be there in Japan. Is, yep. Yeah, twenty twenty. We have had over seven million views from Japan. Over seven million. Mm-hmm. Nice. Does, does it say what kind of what's that percentage wise? That is point eight percent of our total is from Japan. Hmm. Okay. So it could be possible we could go to Japan at some. And most point, of that's Akasan. We did finally make it to Europe. We did get yeah. to Europe. Yeah. Yep. So not technically. But yes, the United Kingdom well, is ten okay. percent of our. Yeah, I, get, I, guess, yeah, I get what you mean. <laughs> hey, I flew into Amsterdam. Yeah, you're right. Okay? Yeah, so, but you didn't meet anybody there. Uh, <laughs> did dang. you? No, I don't think I did. The guy I met was at JFK. Gotcha. So yeah, you got me. All right. Actually, this would be a fun game. So United States is our the top country. The UK is the second. Okay. The third is. What would it be? Hmm. Can I ask if it's an English speaking country? You like can. Prim- primarily, it, it is. is. What, Canada? Canada! Yeah, that's probably a good one. All right, Calvin. You didn't so say North America. You're so smart. What's the next one after Canada? Canada is 4.4% of our audience. Dang, 4.4. Yep. How much was the UK? 10.9. Uh, 10.9? 10. 9. Mm-hmm. So, like 52, 53% of our audience is from UK and the US. Yep. Okay. Um,. Man, so fourth, I want to go with like, dang, can I pick a continent? What? There's, no. a, lot of countries, there's a lot of countries. <laughs> well, like Australia. Antarctica. <laughs> oh, I'll show you. Oh, I don't see good. Antarctica. Both. Yeah. There's got to be at least English one speaking. person from Antarctica, right? <laughs> one person it. from Antarctica? Uh, it, it, Germany is the next one. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, Germany at 3.2. And then we go to Brazil, then Australia, then I- India. I was trying to think of a country in South America, but I was trying to like which mm-hmm. one would be more likely. Yeah. And I was like, well, if I just say the continent, <laughs> I can pick a lot more. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Painting with a roller instead of a brush. <laughs> there has been about 108 billion hours watched of Blind Wave in the world. Jeez, oh, yeah, that's a lot of that's hours. That's pretty crazy. The our average videos about 20 minutes long. You know, sometimes they're shorter, sometimes they're more. But the average view duration is seven minutes, around the time of our average reaction. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was just crazy that question came in, and I had the exact numbers already. 
All right. Um, we'll move on to the next question then from Yizzing, who says, Yizzing. we've gotten so many awesome soundtracks this past year. Do you guys have a favorite to dance or hum or sing to? Oh, man, so many. Hmm. Uh, well, Tears of the Kingdom, I would say, is my favorite soundtrack, not just because of its amazing music, but the way it does the music. It's very uh, kind of like like old Japanese anime in a way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the last hour of that game soundtrack is some of the best Zelda music ever. And for anybody that understands uh, me, realizes how much of a compliment that is. Because I used to, like, I used to, I used to have the Ocarina of Time soundtrack on a, on a fucking disc, you yeah. know, on my disc player that sure. would skip on the school bus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I listened to that exclusively. This is better. So I got to go Tears of the Kingdom. I was, la I was laughing because while you were in the middle of that, someone's like, oh, Willow. <laughs> 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 Why, Willow? And it made me laughing with yeah. you guys. Um, I don't know. Yeah, theme, no, I'm... Theme, themes that I like to hum and stuff like that, just anything? or Tell you what mine is. I'm looking for some of the from over the, like, the past year or so, mm -hmm. if there's anything that's like stood year out. Or what so. saying, Rick? It didn't come out this year, but Ocarina of Time. Oh, like the Gerudo time. theme has been in my mind yep. constantly. Do 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 do. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's a great one. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't know. I've, I don't have anything in my head right now where I'm like, oh, this one was really good. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some movie ones that have been good. I think that. Uh, in this what, last year, Andor had a fantastic soundtrack. Ahsoka's gearing up to be a really good soundtrack. Sure, I've liked oh. the what we've had over the last few episodes of that. Final Fantasy 16 soundtrack is real good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything specifically. Nothing stands in my head where I'm like, man, I've been stuck humming this and singing this ever since I watched this movie, and sure. I can't, I can't think of anything. Gotcha. If I do, I'll try to remember and. Tweet it out so I don't forget. All right. I mean, the Mario movie, but that's kind of cheating. It is kind of <gasps> cheating. Did you have anything, Calvin? Uh, I mean, I, if, if I can say, like, the Mandalorian theme from season three, <laughs> 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 which is the same as season one, but yeah. the... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Love that theme, man. I, I, I always catch myself humming that. Finally got to Bluebird and Naruto. Yeah. Uh, what's that? That the, the opening? The, the intro opening. Theme. I know, but I need... What it's the one like? that you were singing with AI. Did you see that clip on Twitter where someone used AI to make us sing a song? Oh, yeah. Was that? Oh, that was, that was, <laughs> this is something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one's catchy. Uh-huh. Okay. Um... BJWBRG says, "Hey guys, I'm glad you had a nice. Excuse me. Hey guys, I'm glad you had a nice vacation recently, and I hope you got to relax a bit. May I ask what you guys are most excited for during the month of September? Thanks, thanks, and hope all is well with the crew. Oh. The website launch. Yay! Yay! That's what I'm most excited yeah, about. Yeah, I'm pretty excited by that. <laughs> I am as well. That'll be that'll be fun." Yay. Hope I'm, everyone loves it as much as we do. I'm excited and nervous for my play, which is in September. Yeah. September like 15th, mm -hmm. that weekend, and the following weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now that I'm not as busy with PopCon or vacations or anything else, I'm just trying to focus on that. Sure. So I have like gotcha. two weeks left to get all that stuff all set up and going, so... And in a distant second, my daughter's 10th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> distant. <laughs> I need to try out the new controller. And... <laughs> um, for me, it's going to be probably continuing Ahsoka. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to trying out Starfield. Ooh, Starfield, yeah. Because mm. it just seems like it's right up my alley. Mm. Yep, there's going to be a lot of bugs right up your alley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it, too, though. I, I want to play Starfield. I don't have any major games through September or anything. Most of mine come out, like, towards the end of October, 
and I don't know what I'm going to play first because I want to do Pokemon DLC. Sure. I want to do Spider-Man 2. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Ah, I don't have enough time. There's no time. I want to play Baldur's Gate 3, but no time. I'm right there with Calvin with Ahsoka. Um, and then also, just for me personally, even though I can't actually do it, I am excited about moving and and uh, the new house, but... I'm excited for you. I need to mm-hmm. wait, so I'm not really looking forward to waiting. <laughs> well, yeah, just start packing your shit up now. Yep. Live out of boxes, and then it'll be it'll be a quick transition. Transition? Transition. Oh, I said it weird. Yeah, I thought it was like a like a like you cut someone. I was gonna say transfer. And I tried to say ishin, and I was already saying like a hard S, like transition. Yeah, I think of like an incision, but you're transferring and cutting at the same time, so it's a transition. Like I'll cut this, but the cut happens over there. Oh, okay. (laughs) That would be really weird. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, How about from, what is this? Flying Paladin. Which show do you guys want to react to the most that you haven't yet? I love listening to you guys while Stargate. while I work all day. Keep up the great work. Stargate. I've been really wanting to watch uh, Battlestar Galactica mm-hmm. for a while. It's been one of the shows I'm like, it's not super long. Sure. And I'm like, man, I want to watch this, but I've heard good things, and I'll just wait because we could react to it. So I've just been holding off. Yeah. Between Orn Host Club and Yu Hawk Show. I uh, I don't want to. Dis- I mean, I've gotten some of the ones that were dreams of mine, so I don't want to feel greedy. You've already done Firefly. Yeah. You score. Honestly, I would like to do something like uh, Warrior or Into the Badlands. That's like a choreography focused. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Uh, show that'd be cool. We just watched yeah. Samurai Cop, Eric. Gara, thank the you show. so much. Oh, okay. Another okay. fifty. Hang it, Gara. You're already you already had the power. You'll destroy us all. <laughs> Gotta listen to reason. Grass everybody. <laughs> Gotta cut us up. Thank you, Gara. Thank you so much, Gara. We appreciate it. No, I get you, Eric. I I've heard good things about that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we love watching good choreography scenes and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, but too. my favorite part of choreography scenes is when you integrate character and I mean in a movie you can get some great characters, but T V shows you get to know characters a lot. Yeah. It might be cool to have that in a choreography show. I mean, that that's what made Daredevil so compelling, you know, it's just Matt Murdock, he, will, he refuses to stay down, you know? Yeah. Sure. So, if I could get, I want to get something like that going. All right. Um, yeah, Toastmaster awesome. said a Scream Stream preview, Aaron. I don't know what you mean, unless you're asking for, like, what things could be coming. Oh. Uh, if that's okay. what you mean. Um, I'll say that finally, after a couple of years of talking about it, I think Eric will finally get to play Dead Space. Yay! Yep. Never played Dead Space, and I'll be playing the uh, the remake, right? Indeed. Yeah, the remake of Dead yeah. Space, which um, is, I think Rick finished it. I, I never did. even got to finish it yet. I only got a little bit into it, gotcha. but it it played really well, and I think they added a little bit more to it as well, which is really cool. They did. Cool. So... I've not heard bad things. Sometimes you get remakes and people are like, ah, this isn't as good. And I, I've not heard anything really like, this is terrible. Don't play it. Yep. I kind of hope they make the other two. Yeah, for sure. So, but yeah, so that'll be coming this Scream stream. So, and then that there'll be some be other ones I'm too. Doing. Yep. We'll have some other stuff, some group stuff. Um, Maybe we can have another RPG. Maybe. So that could be cool. But yes, that'd be through October streams. Uh, which currently, uh, what, Rick, you've been doing Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy 16. Hopefully I finish it before October. I don't um, know. It's what? been real good. Been real good? Mm-hmm. And then Calvin's been playing, uh, shoot, what was it? Expanse, right? The Expanse. Telltale series, yes. He's been playing that a little bit as well. So. Loving it. Both of those have been here on Twitch. They remade System Shock recently. I heard about that. I've also heard about Evil Within. It's when one of the games I've been wanting to try at some point. I just haven't yet. So. And then uh, I'll eventually be playing Jai Survivor, but probably going to wait until after Scream Stream, both because I don't want inter- to get interrupted in the middle of it, and 
after Ahsoka, we're probably going to have a little bit of a pause on Star Wars television till the strike stuff catches up. So I imagine that means that I'll, I won't feel rushed. I can just take my time and go through Survivor. So I'll probably do that. Have time to do those Ewok movies. Yeah, that's true. The Ewok movies? Uh, I've never uh, seen those. We should do that. Yeah, we should make the studios remember. <laughs> we should mean like eat meat, <laughs> you know? Like, yep. Get some like burgers or something. Mm-hmm. Burgers. Yeah. You want to watch an Ewok, meat, uh, Ewok movie, you got to eat some meat. Get okay. invested, you know? They're meat or can't. They'll, they'll eat you, Aaron. All right. Yeah. All right. We should have. Dude, for uh, October, we should play the, the Ewok game. Oh, Ewok what's kind. It called? <laughs> yeah. The, yeah that, the head the cheese. Of- where they like take an entire head of like a pig or a cow or something and boil it, yeah. And then, like you scoop out the brain and it's like a cheese texture or something. What we are could you kiss talking them? about Ewoks ate ha- hamburgers heads. or head cheese. One of those. I'll take a hamburger. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't want head cheese. Whatever that is. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. Yeah, I did see that Ahsoka's uh, coming to Fortnite. She has her own little section that you can unlock Ahsoka in Fortnite. Cool. So I was glad about that. Is it like the Clone Wars, like cartoon style, or is it more like a realistic Rosario style? It's not like a, yeah, it doesn't look super cartoony any more than like most of the Fortnite characters do. It's not like in the anime style. Gotcha. Like Naruto and some of them look very different, more like 12 shaded and stuff. Yeah. Running cycles and stuff. All righty. Um, Rupus says, any plans for Young Justice Season 4? Teary, sad face. No, not right now, but we are coming up on a certain transitional period of Batman the Animated Series. Um, and whenever we get through more of that, maybe we can jump into some more DC animated projects because we, we also are slowly getting along with the uh, the movie universe as well. Yeah, currently yeah. we have a lot um, yeah, that's a lot, filtering lot. down through. Mm-hmm. So once we get through some more of this schedule that we have right now and yeah. whatnot, uh, we can maybe look into some more things and stuff. Well, right too, now we have Harley Quinn right and Batman, so we don't yeah. want to overload it too much. With yeah. DC. Um, and then the last question from Bindalak that I have right now says, Hey guys, have you had a chance to react to Across the Spider-Verse yet? Well, yes, <laughs> we have. Yep. We recorded that uh, before we went to PopCon, I think. Okay. And I believe it goes on early access uh, tomorrow. I think it's scheduled for tomorrow's mm-hmm. release. So. Good. Then I can say that that's one of the soundtracks that I've had <laughs> stuck in my head. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, finally. But yeah, We had to choose if we were going to do that or the Flash movie and... <laughs> yeah. We chose that, um, and yeah, we should be getting uh, polls for the movies coming back here soon as well. Uh-huh. Um, with everything being as as crazy as it's been, trying to get every, everything back on track and rescheduled, we haven't had any movie polls for a little while because it's yeah. been easier rather than trying to wait for that. Sometimes we had to watch two movies in a week to try to like fit yep. everything in and get ahead for being gone for popcorn and mm-hmm. stuff and vacation and everything. So, yeah. so that no. should be coming back here soon. We recorded a movie reaction today that I very much enjoyed as well, and I'm excited for people to see. Yeah. But we'll also probably be sneaking in some uh, scary movies for October here yep. soon, because yeah. we're coming up here into September, and for those that hit YouTube in October, they will probably be hitting early access here before too Indeed. long as well. So. Bad Ben. Uh, yes. I'll do it. It sounds fun. Uh, okay. Just do it on a day that I can drink. <laughs> well, <good time. laughs> that could be fun. All right, I don't have any more questions now. So that was the last of the questions. Last um, of the questions. Yep. We can go through our bits and donations and mention again all the subs at Garrison. Gara? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is quite a few. So give me a few on this here and I'll open that up. P score asks if you, we have any Halloween costume ideas. Man, I have so many costumes that I've been I've been wanting to have a Ghostbusters costume for a long time. I've really wanted to make like a I've seen a few but a lot of them aren't usually up to like what I'm wanting but I want like a nice Ben Riley Scarlet Spider 
like costume. Some yeah. of them are just kind of like they look loose, like too loose, and then the hoodie kind of looks like cheaper and stuff too. Sure. And I've been like, I feel like I need to like make one. Yeah, I don't know what else what else to do with that. So, showed Evie uh, Hugh Jackman's Van Helsing. I was Ooh, like, I, that's a good. One. I think I could pull that off. That's a good one. Yeah, you could definitely do that. I would. Uh, I think right now I'm I'm on the Balin Skull train from Ahsoka. Nice. I'd want to do that. Get a big gray beard. Come on now. I always like trying to do. At least back in the day, none of the kids want to do it anymore because they all like their own things and stuff. But yeah. I always like doing like thematic mm-hmm. things. Like so, like last year, Melly and I. She was Velma and I was Freddy. You know, sure. Fred. So I like doing those kind of things. When Leon was real little, I made him Yoda and I was Luke Skywalker and I carried him on my back. For trick or treat, you know. Yeah. So now I'm like, dude, we should, could all be like Ghostbusters, or you guys could be the Ninja Turtles, and I could be like Casey Jones, and Melanie could be April, and they're all kind of like, but I want to be Link, and I want to be Bakugo, and I want to be Sonic, and I'm yep. like, Duh, but these don't mix. Just, <laughs> just try to You're coordinate too nerdy it so, kids. <laughs> so so you can go with Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. 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 Or you're doing a crossover event. Just be like, all right, Colson, you can be Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> you can be Link. <laughs> So uh, that could work, I guess. May do that. Oh man, Rick, it looks so weird. I know it's terrible. I hate it. What is this? What does this nineteen mean? I think that means nineteen months, but I don't know. Let me remove some of these. So these are subs, then. Oh uh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay. Yellow is subscriptions. Okay. Yep. Uh, unless it's the yellow that's host. Because that's yeah. also I don't check that one. So I guess there was a bit of a UI change. <laughs> yeah, they changed the way things look and stuff, so it just throws me off. Aaron, you said Velma. Did you mean Daphne? No, Melanie was Velma. I was Freddy. She was not Daphne. Fred. Fred. Yeah, sure. I keep saying Freddy, but Freddy Prince Jr. All right, uh, we have a sub, uh, a sub twenty-one months wheel magic. Thank, Thank you, you very magic. much. Uh, we have another sub from Phenom Taker for 73 months. Thank you, Phenom. Um, Thank you. That came in during my stream, actually. Oh, Thank did you. It? Well, it says, oh, that, oh, yeah, these don't say one day. Sorry. I was too low. Leave these ones. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you anyway. Never mind. It's a lot of months. It deserves recognition. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Odeth G67 for 19 months. Thank you so much. Thank you, Odeth. Thank you. Uh, Casual Doom 12 for 39 months. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That's a lot of months. That's too. a Prime subscription. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub. That's true. Mm. Not, not hint, hint. Tori CS23, uh, happy Thursday for 34 months. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tori. Thank happy you. Thursday. Uh, LKG resubbed for 51 months. LKG. Thank you. Fomarock resubbed for 52 months. Thank you, Fomarock. Oh, let's get a 53 month next. Thortle B resubbed for 54 months. Oh, so close. Said ah. 6x9. Thank you. Thank oh, you. is that what the. Okay. 6x9. Oh, okay. Well, I think that equals 54, right? Oh. Gotcha. Is, that, is that what they're doing? Oh, Aaron does math. Six babies. I, at first, I was like, why do they say 6x9? And then I was like, should I say nice? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Gara uh, resubbed, I believe, for three months. Welcome back, Blind Wave. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you, Thank Gara. Thank you so much, Gara. Gara. I, I bet we'll see your name again here in a little bit. Yes, your subs you have made the day better. Man. Uh, Sandwich has resubbed 13 months. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Sandwich. sandwich. Uh, Thortle cheered 100 bits. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Thortle B. Uh, three months sub from Belly Flop 2000. That sounds like a. Sounds painful. A, a 10 meter board dive or something. <laughs> the Belly Flop 3000. Yeah. <laughs> 2003. All right. Leewick gifted a sub to the Youthful Eagle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. They have. That. I think, it, I don't know, it could be seven. It says seven times, but I'm not sure. Uh, they have given 224 subs to the channel, so thank you so much, Leewick. Thank you, Leewick. All right, and then Garrick Loran for 72. Thank you, Garrick. Wow. Man. 72 six, months, so that's a long time. Six yeah. years, dude. That's one less than the max, I think. <laughs> six years. Tattoo Mo 89, uh, resub 50 months, says, hey, guys, hope you're doing well. Thank you. Yeah, thank we're doing you. well. Thank you so much. Tier two. Here we go. Gara gifted 49 subs. Thank you so much, Gara. Thank you, Gara. Uh, this guy, Craig, for 11 months. 
Thank you. Uh, Sandman eleven six eleven for thirty eight months. Thank you so much. Uh, Rupus resub for twenty six months. Just joined. Is any of the crew going to play Starfield? Um, I really want to. I will play it. Whether I play it on stream or not is up in the air. You could always play it for stream for a little bit and then just like I could. break in October maybe. Yeah. Just to give a taste and people can see your initial thoughts even or how you break the game. Yeah, which I yeah, true. which I do. I'm sure you'll break the game, right? Yeah. <laughs> I will play it. I probably won't stream. Uh, Rolara GG, 14 months. Uh, what is one item that has changed your life since you got it? Can be small or large. Hmm. The uh... Leon Colson Kane and Ayla. Oh, wait. That, I guess they're not items. That's not <laughs> one either. You can't return those. No. no, no. <laughs> hmm. An item that has changed my life since I got it. The... Uh copy of um the the first disc that had berserk on them changed my life it's a good one cell phone probably my <laughs> i don't know my canon hv2o camcorder mm, I, see. I think when i bought that that was like my first like this is my camera and i'm gonna go do things with it mm. and that probably changed everything for me i love that little camera there was a period of like four years there that I couldn't do anything with it though because I didn't have a FireWire port on my computer. <laughs> you had to use FireWire yeah. back in the day. <laughs> yep. Gosh. It was in that middle middle time, right? So I would like film shit and be like, oh, right, that was cool, but I'm not going to do anything with it. <laughs> Just having a little mini DV uh, D tape. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something that I got that changed my life. An item that changed my life. Oh! <gasps> This keyboard. <laughs> that damn Fuck keyboard's that keyboard. changed my life. True. I, I, I have to use this keyboard. <laughs> yep. I never should have bought that for your birthday. It's so uh, good. Does it work? What is that keyboard? I've, I've been worried because I didn't want to switch to it until my other one broke because I didn't want to, like, I might as well use all the, get all the juices out of this one that I can. And then once it's dead, then I switch. Let the magic smoke out and then switch to the other one. Yeah. Okay. Like, once it's dead, then I'm like, well, now I have this one at least, you know? Otherwise, I'll use that one. It'll start getting bad. It'll go bad. Then I go back to the other one, and I'll be unhappy. Yeah, I suppose. So it's been like sitting like next to my computer, like uh, right there where it's safe, and I will <laughs> use it one day. Still wrapped in plastic. <laughs> no, it doesn't have literal juice. Like energy is juice. Never mind. Did you say one, Calvin? Um. Shit. I mean, you guys went like way back. I guess I'll say like. My car, my <laughs> my first mode of transportation, maybe my motorcycle. Your motorcycle? Yeah. Mm. Hey man, living out where we live, that was a big deal. It, it was yeah. life changing. All right, uh, Thaddeus J Spider for thirty two months also said, "Have you guys been to any fandom cons? Supernatural is doing one in Columbus next. We we've, went to Con of Thrones. We've been to Con of Thrones and then Celebration. I think are yeah. probably the two most specific. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, but Supernatural con will be." That could be cool. Yeah. There you go, Carmen. Yeah. Um, we have another forty-nine gifted subs from Gara. Thank. You, Thank you, Gara. Gara. Thank you, Gara. I wonder uh, why it says forty-nine. Well, uh, it says forty-one and eight. That's <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Gladmax resubbed for twenty-eight months. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Dylan Chip for three months. Hey, crew. Hope your vacations were good. Do you think we could get some themed movie polls soon from different directors like Hitchcock or Tarantino? I've been going back and watching Hitchcock stuff. Maybe we could do John Carpenter. Ooh. Um, that could be interesting. I'm just thinking about October stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, have all of us seen The Thing? I have seen Eric The Thing. Eric has not. I have not. Eric needs to, to Eric watch The Thing. has seen my second favorite movie, but not my first. Yep. I, the Room. And I, I, I should say <laughs> that I have seen, like... I mean, it's in terms of its puppeteering work and like the practical stuff. I, I've seen some behind the scenes stuff of it, just because it is that good that it gets referred to a lot. So yeah, I know some stuff. We also, watch... I saw that episode of X Files. That's kind of like <laughs> it's mm. called Worms. We could watch the new thing, Rick. Oh uh, no, no, no. 
No, no, no. Um, but no, no I, I do like having themed movie polls and stuff too. Yeah. Like whether it's like an actor or a director or sometimes it, we had one that was like all car driving yes, movies. Cars. And stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that we've done. So. Red line. So I like doing those. Uh, Malik for 13 months. Thank you so much, Malik. Thanks. Thank you, Malik. Uh, Diggis Bickus for 55 months. Thank you, Diggis. Your Cabernet. Uh, first time, I believe. So thank you so much, your Cabernet. Thank you, thank you thank Cabernet. You. Welcome. Uh, our hop for 42 months. Thank you, our hop. Thank you, thank you Rob. <laughs> Damn it, Ray. <laughs> Kyle Patrick Hess for 14 months. Thank you so much, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Gara with another 50. This one, this says, one 50. says 50. This one says 50. This one says 50 this time. <laughs> I don't thank get you. it. Thank you so much, Gara. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank um, you. Bindalak for 28 months. Thank you so much, Bindalak. And Garachi for 15 months. Garachi, thank you so much, thank everyone. You. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, we will be back tomorrow then at uh, 3 p.m. And we will be playing Smash and we'll be showing the uh, the birthday gift that Rick got. Wait, well, my schedule says we're starting at 9 a.m. Oh. For Smash? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll just be smashing each other all day. Uh, all day. We'll take a break and we'll smash each other again in the Where afternoon. Where are the dicks? Yeah. yeah. And after, what? No, I, put those away. All right, guys. We will see you guys tomorrow for Smash Brothers. Make sure you guys join us back. And then uh, also through the week, uh, Expanse and uh, Final Fantasy. Some more streams. So make mm. sure you guys follow. Mm -hmm. See you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Peace. Bye.